Hey everyone, welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to open a glass ampule safely and effectively and without getting pieces of glass stuck in your fingers. Now, if you're watching this video, it's probably because of one of two reasons. Number one, it's your first time opening one of these tricky little glass ampules and you wanna know how to do it. Or number two, You've tried to do it before and when you've done it, you've landed up with glass everywhere, pieces of glass stuck in your fingers, which is not very pleasant. So I, I just, the reason I'm showing this video, there's lots of videos online that show you how to open these glass ampules and the reason I wanted to do it is because uh, I wanted to sort of go to the concerns and issues you might experience when you open the glass ampules, whereas other people don't usually show this. And also I've, got, I've had, I'm, I'm quite a pro at doing it now, but in the past when I first started off, I had a history of getting glass in my fingers, even so that when I started my testosterone replacement therapy and I got my sustenon in the glass ampule, I was terrified and I actually taped up uh, my fingers with sellotape just in case that when I try to open it, I got glass in my fingers again. But as is with most things in life, uh, as you get experienced things and you do it more often, you get better at them. And so I just wanted to pass on these little tips to you to help you get through that without having to go through the same pain I did of having those tiny fragments of glass in your fingers, making them bleed. So, um, I'm, the way I'm going to do this, I, I, normally I just talk like this, but I'm going to show you close-ups. I'm going to I'm going to cut off the camera soon, and I'm going to put the camera angle down like this so that you can see the process of doing it through someone's eyes, as if you were you know standing behind me watching me open the glass ampule. So I'm going to switch to that now. I'll do some uh, commentary on that, and then I'll come back and uh, you know just close off this video. But just want you to know that I have taken this technique from the people that uh, produce these glass ampules. So this is the correct way to do things. So I think uh, I'm going to switch now, and I'll be back shortly. Okay. Before we begin, I just wanted to clarify one thing, and that's the fact that that little black dot on the ampule, that is not the point or the place where the ampule will break, but in fact, it will actually break down further towards the neck of the ampule. So if I hold the ampule in my two hands, you can see my right hand is supporting it underneath the black dot, and the left hand is holding the ampule at the neck or the base of the amp. When it actually comes time to breaking the ampule, you'll push your two index fingers closer together to make things more stable and solid. You see the left and the right index fingers are together, providing support or stability underneath the ampule on each side. Okay, in this video, I'm showing you the direction in which the ampule is gonna open and in which direction you're gonna open it with your hands. And that's applying a pressure towards you, as you can see, right? Apply pressure and not the other direction. That's the wrong way. You want to apply pressure, that's the wrong way, but towards you, like this. That's how you open it. In this video, I'm gonna show you the direction in which to open it, but actually with the ampule in my hands. I'm not going to open the ampule now. I just wanna show you the position of your fingers, how you push your index fingers together like that, and you support the ampule in your hand, and then you open it towards you, like I showed. Just a quick tip before we open the ampule, make sure that you get all the liquid from the top section uh, into the bottom section. And you can do this by obviously turning it upright and just flicking it gently with your finger to make sure all that liquid does get down to the bottom section, as you can see. And finally, I'm gonna hold the ampule in my hands and my fingers in the position that I showed you. And I'm gonna gently apply pressure in the direction that we've learned until it makes a pop. And there you go, the ampule's open and you don't have glass in your fingers. Woohoo! Okay, I'm back. And uh, hopefully that helped things, uh, make things a lot easier and helped you learn how to open a glass ampule quite easily. And if you found this video helpful, please like and share it just so that more people can see it and we can prevent more people from getting tiny fragments of glass stuck in their fingers, which is fucking annoying and can be painful. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.